what's up y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl rose if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and in today's video i'm just going to be doing a pack and prep with me so i can travel but not really prep as in like hair and nails or whatever because i don't really get my nails done anymore i did have press-ons but i don't want to put those on i think i'm gonna just go with my natural nails my hair was already previously relaxed last week and it's straightened so i'm just gonna wear it out because i don't plan on doing much besides relaxing on this trip possibly like being on the beach and a lot of water and then i might do one excursion which is not going to involve water because Aunt Flo decided to come, y'all. I am so pissed. Like, my whole trip, outfits, and everything has to be changed because a lot of my bikinis were white or creamish because I was going for, like, that beach resort wear style outfits. And now I can't even go to the pool I can still go to the pool because I use menstrual disc instead of like pads and tampons during the day. So I can still get in the water but I have to change my bathing suit um, colors because I don't want like the blood to leak through like the white. So now I have to see if I can find possibly at Target tonight um, different color bathing suits but Target be expensive as hell like it'd be like $30 for the top $30 for the bottom $60 for a bathing suit when I went on Shein and got a two-piece three-piece set for like $10 like come on so right now I'm currently packing I did my skincare I am breaking out down here but for the most part my skin is pretty glowy and it's doing good so let me show y'all where I'm at. I already showed y'all what I put in my toiletry bag. Hey y'all. So I'm in the middle of filming uh, like a prep with me slash, you know, pack with me video. And I just want to show y'all everything that's in my toiletry bag currently. I'm just looking right now to see what I'm missing. But these are all of my perfumes. I only travel with like travel ones and little minis. I don't travel with big bottles because I'm not risking that. My makeup remover stuff. I have little vaginal wipes because you never know it would be hot. Q-tips. These are all of the cleansers that I use when I travel. Primarily I use the Tatcha. Then I have a belief toner. This is like all of my oral hygiene. This is the toothpaste that I use. The mouthwash, floss, portable toothbrush, little cotton pads, edge control brush my shower cleansers, deodorant, moisturizers, cleansing balm, eye cream, Laneige sleep mask, always a must, lip balm, lotion, soap, bobby pins, bandage, sunscreen, my contact lens solution, and then I'm going to put some more stuff and I'll show y'all after. So for makeup, I'm just bringing blush, a mascara, and then like a powdered foundation. And then in here, so far, I have like my deodorant, edge control, sunscreen. This is my menstrual disc pads and all of that. I put it in like a Shein bag so that I can put it in my suitcase. And then I do have some in my tote bag, which I'm going to bring with me on the airplane and then I have my paddle brush for my wrap and then a wide tooth comb this headband that I'm gonna put in my bag and then I just need two pajamas because I'm only staying Saturday night Sunday night Monday night and then I leave Tuesday so three nights so I only packed two pajamas this is a resort wear that I was going to wear I'm still gonna wear it and just wear shapewear underneath it so that I can feel cinched in and put together and it's a skirt it's like a skirt oh it's upside down oops so it's a skirt and then like a diamond top with strings and I'm gonna show you all the other outfits but that's what it looks like. These are the swimsuits. 
that I'm going to be packing. They're all, well, three, four of them are one piece. And then I was going to wear this two-piece one, too. But, like I said, I may have to change that because it's not flow cane. This one. And then this was the white one that I was going to also pack and wear. These are all from Shein. It's like a long sleeve because I'm not trying to get sunburnt out here. But that's what that looks like. So... And then I'm going to bring this bag with me with like all of my essentials, my money, and everything like that. So I can put in my tote bag and have my passport and everything over there. So I'm just going to keep packing and then let y'all watch. So this is everything inside of the toiletry bag. I don't think I need anything else that I'm going to put in here besides like last minute things that I'm currently using. But I got this from Amazon a long time ago and it's pretty durable. It's been lasting me years. It doesn't get dirty. It's like the material you can just wipe it down. But yeah, I got this years ago. In this bag, I always put it in my tote bag that I travel with because you never know at the airport what's going to happen. If there's any delays, I might need to brush my teeth, freshen up my face. And I'm not going to my suitcase because that's usually on the plane. So then in here, I usually put wipes, a portable charger, hand sanitizer, pens, wet wipes to wipe down my seats and the tables, a first aid kit, another little toiletry bag that has pads, tampons, panty liners, extra underwear, and what else is in here? More like little flushable wipes to refresh yourself. In case I get my menstrual and then this umbrella is not coming with me and then I usually put like vitamin C packets and what is it called like liquid IV also in these bags and then I throw in my purse in here too and my camera and then this bag is like set to go but it's like a bigger tote bag that I always travel with here's a better look at the bathing suit so this is the first one the second one it's open back this is the third one this is the fourth one and this is the two piece so now I have to find another bathing suit to replace this and this because I can't wear these like no 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 but this is what they look like So these are the four main outfits that I'm going to wear. This is a two piece. It's like a knit type of resort wear. It's a dress, I mean a skirt and a diamond top. But I don't know if this is going to fit properly. I'm going to try it on later because the breast is breasting. This is just a regular little dress. This is a two piece skirt and top and I'm going to pair it with this bag for all of my outfits it's like a nude bag that I got from Marshalls or TJ Maxx a while ago and then I have this dress as well so for shoes I'm gonna bring these nude sandals and then I'm thinking about bringing one of these nude heels or this white one that I got from Shein. I'm not sure yet. I have to see which one goes with all of these. This one is pretty like, you know, but it's hot and my toes going to be sweating. I did go to Sephora the other day just to pick up a few travel size items and a new face powder slash foundation because I didn't want to wear actual foundation because it's going to be hot so I looked for a powder that was not going to leave me oily and that was going to still give me that skin like glowy radiant type of look but still matte if you get what I'm saying so I picked up this Danessa Myricks Beauty Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder this is what it looks like and I picked this up in the shade 9. I tried it on in Sephora 
and it looks like your skin it still allows your blemishes to peek through which is what I like and it doesn't make you additionally oily it has technology in here that's going to help lock in oil and slowly allow it to be released to give you like a radiant look but not greasy so I picked this up and I, I wore it for like a whole day and I loved it it was really really good so if I can open it I'll show you what it looks like so this is what it looks like in the packaging it has like a little spoon but the lady told me she recommends me to use like a dense brush and then set it with a setting spray and that's all you need you don't need to do anything else but this is what it looks like it's a bomb and it goes on like a tinted moisturizer so I am so excited for this and I want to see how it's going to perform in an extremely hot climate even though Florida is already humid but the islands the sun in the islands is very different so I picked that up and then I picked up the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray so that I can be my makeup can stay in place and this is a travel size one this says no makeup fading or setting into fine lines and people have been raving about this all day it says temperature control technology lightweight and all day wear so we're gonna see how this holds up and then I also picked up the way scalp and body scrub in the st. Bart's this smells like a tropical island like you're on a beach island it smells like fruits it smells like fruit cocktail pina coladas and it just gives me like beach island vacation vibes you can use this as a scalp scrub for your hair but I'm gonna be using it for my body and then I picked up a perfume spray this smells so good y'all this is the Kaeli Yum Pistachio Gelato Intense. This smells like a marshmallow cotton candy pistachio ice cream in a bottle, okay? It smells so, so good. This is one that you would either love or hate. There's no in between. It's super sweet, but not overpowering, and it smells delicious. It smells yummy. It smells edible. I see why they called it yum, because it really smells like that and the notes is pistachio gelato hazelnut sweet rum whipped cream marshmallow and cotton candy so yeah that's what i picked up and i'm gonna pack all of these with me so i'm gonna keep packing and i'll check back in with y'all later when it comes to like my shapewear nipple coverings boob tape and all of that stuff all right y'all so this toiletry bag is packed i packed my sunscreen and i love this sunscreen y'all this sunscreen does not leave my face greasy it doesn't break me out it does what it needs to do it gives me a dewy glow protects me and this is where you're supposed to squeeze the sunscreen into to make sure that you're getting the right amount of sunscreen on your face and then you just stick your finger in it and take it out and then i'm bringing the rest of the black girl sunscreen so that i can put it on my body but i also do have my big sun bum Here's the perfume, deodorant, edge control, my Curology treatment, my Tower 28 spray, the body scrub, and then this is all the makeup that I'm bringing, the Danessa Myricks balm, blush, setting powder, mascara, setting spray, and concealer. And that's everything for makeup, hygiene, hair, all of that good stuff. All that I need to put in here or in my toiletry bag is my Salt XO soap bar and then I'll be Gucci. Y'all, so I'm supposed to be going to Zara, but it is storming outside. I just got a took that out. I just got out of the shower. I'm supposed to be getting ready to go to Zara or Target so I could find another bathing suit that's black or dark color and it's storming outside but target closed at 10 it is 7 14 so hopefully the rain goes down a little bit so then i can go to target but in the meantime i'm gonna show y'all 
my shapewear that I'm packing and also like boob tape and all of that good stuff like nipple coverings and then I did put all of my vitamins in this container from like my old ritual vitamin and every time I travel I always take my vitamins with me because I'm not gonna be lacking you can travel with them so I just put them in a bottle put everything that I'm taking so I have in here my ritual vitamins my hum skin detox my probiotics for vaginal and urinary care I have my sarsaparilla root for immunity and blood cleansing and then I have vitamin D in here for also energy and immune support and calcium and bone and all that good stuff and I'm gonna travel with this and then I'm going to add my gut instinct in it for the morning times because I know I'm gonna be eating a lot during vacation so I want to make sure that I'm still taking care of my gut and being able to use the bathroom but everything that I'm packing for my shapewear I'm going to bring my silicone nipple coverings these are the ones I get these from Ulta this is the Hollywood fashion secrets silicone covers for dark skin tones I like these ones because you can't really see them underneath my clothes they go on like thin and can't really see them works wonders and then i'm going to also be bringing this vbt nipple cover kit boob tape breast tape kit it comes with a silicone nipple covering and two boob tapes black and nude i've never worn boob tape before but it is a must because some outfits require you to like have some support and you also want your breast to look good and your outfit you don't want it to sag so boob tape is going to help give you that lift that you need and this one i got this from amazon i'll leave a link and a code for you guys down in the description box and the link will automatically give you 10 percent off i don't think you need to use the code but i'll leave both for you guys in there and this is very high quality it is hyperallergenic make sure that you test it on your skin first though because sometimes they do say hyperallergenic and it will still give other people like a rash but this is very good quality high stretch breathable and sweat resistant y'all know i'll be sweating like crazy which is a must i need stuff that are sweat resistant because come on so this is the nipple covers These joints is thick. Thick, 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 thick. But it comes with two in it. I like that because then I get four in it. And this is what they look like. Let's take this out of here so you guys can see. So they're very similar to the, the um, Hollywood Secret ones, but this is what they look like. The nipple covers, they're very thin and high quality they're very high quality i can tell by just touching them but they're also really thin so that means you're not really going to be able to see them underneath your outfit so i love that and then it also came with a manual for the boob tape and then it has double sided sided tape usage as well that it came with which is like these little strips for double sided tape for like really thin ones like if you need something that's super duper thin and you can also wear this these nipple coverings underneath the boob tape so you have a nude and then you have a black and I'm gonna take one out so I can show you what it looks like but this is what the tape looks like and I like in the back of the roll that it literally shows you like different measurements in terms of like squares so that you can cut it and know exactly where to cut it off but I'm just gonna cut some pre-cut strips off so that I can just pack them and not pack the whole roll so you just peel it off like this So you just peel it off it's super thin actually super thin and stretchy you peel it off and I'm just gonna show you it on my hand because obviously I can't show you all my breasts 
because YouTube will yellow or demonetize my video, but you just attach it to your skin. Like this. So it's on my skin. And it's super thin, y'all. Super, super thin. And then to just take it off, you'll just peel it right on off. Now be careful if you have hair on your skin because it might rip the hair right off. But And then just like that. So I can't wait to try this out. And like I said, the quality is like super high quality. I'm like pulling it apart and it's not ripping. So it's not cheap. This is the tape. It's strong, okay? But I'll leave a link for these down in the description box for you guys so that you guys can use if you're interested in finding high quality breast tape that's not gonna irritate your skin and that's sweat resistant. These are your go-to. And then for shapewear, I got this. I'm gonna be wearing this Skims High Waist Brief. I know this looks really small, but it's supposed to like cinch your body in. And it does have the silicone adhesives on the inside so that it can stay in place. But let's see how this works because the, the thong that I got was no. It was a no bueno, no bueno. And I like how the butt part isn't tight. It's like stretchy so that it doesn't smush your, your butt. I hate shapewear that smushes your butt and makes you feel like you cannot breathe. Like I want to feel like I'm cinched in, but I also want to feel like I can breathe. So I'm bringing this, hopefully it stays put. And then I'm bringing my OG favorites. These, I got them off of a website. I'll leave a link down below for you guys, but it's almost like a corset style um, shorts. Also has like that breathable material in the back for the butt so it doesn't stay smushed and then it has like they have like these things on them like similar to like a waist trainer that's going to hold you in place and not move so i have it in this nude and then i have it in black as well so i have that and then i have another little shorty that i got from kato but this one is by a brand called Dreamwear. This one rolls up at the leg. So I still wear it though because it doesn't really bother me too much. But when I sit down, my thighs, it just like rolls up. So that's my only issue with these shapewears is that I can never find any that doesn't roll up except for these two. These two are my favorite. Like I love these two. But some outfits don't require me to wear all of this. It may just require me to wear something shorter or like a underwear or a thong, which I wish this website made them with these on it too. But yeah, I'll leave a link for you guys down in the description box with all of these in it. And let's continue packing. So I was able to fit four, four three pairs of shoes two heels which i'm gonna wear bring the nude and the white and then my sandals inside of this shoe bag that came with the packing cubes deep these packing cubes are very deep y'all they're pretty big and i've already packed this one this has my pajamas and my swimsuits in it and then two skim set this is the cotton collection and this is from the smooth smoothing collection so I packed them in here, which I'm going to put in the bag. And then I have my clothes that I'm going to bring with me. So I bought a pair of shorts. Always need shorts on vacation. I got a bunch of dresses. Pretty much all I packed is lightweight dresses because it's hot. And I'm going to be on the resort primarily more majority of the time. So... I packed up a lot of dresses. Majority of these outfits are from Shein or Fashion Nova like a long, long time ago. These are my Express jeans. These graphic tees, I got these from Forever 21. And then I have my outfit for me to go and come back. I always wear the same outfit to go and come back from the airport. 
this is the skims outdoor collection i have it just set aside so i can put it on in the morning my underwear bras and stuff and then all of my tech gadgets that i'm taking with me my purse and my shapewares and then i did cut a couple strips of the boob tape so that I can take with me the nipple coverings right everybody so that's it the bag is packed everything is in here i hope it's not overweight because lord jesus i'm not paying an extra hundred dollars i'm gonna have to put some of these outfits on because no but i did add some socks and my purse to the bag and then i did add my makeup my brush my comb a visor a bucket hat because it's hot and my little thing to hold my hair back when I'm washing it and that's everything in the suitcase so I'll see y'all in my destination vlog see y'all next time bye